What is going on, everybody? My name is Shane Steam, and I'm welcoming you back to another episode of Grand Theft Auto V. Now, I'm sorry I did not have a part out in the last like month or so. I was really busy with a lot of other stuff, but I'm back for the time being. But in the last part, we were getting ready for this new heist that we're about to do. This is the Blitz play heist right here. I gotta make sure. Okay, good. There's no music on. Okay, so we're gonna be doing this uh, Blitz play heist. So let's get underway. Now, I think I have the masks already. I'm sorry, it's been almost two months since I've played this game. <clears throat> I got some use for them. And I can't believe this is an open top truck right here. And Trevor must be getting wet from all that rain. Oh my god. This view actually creates a huge blind spot. I want to see what's in front of me. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I forgot to set the waypoint. How stupid of me. I really gotta concentrate on driving right now, so I have to clap for a bit. Explosives to take that truck out. Oh, jeez, that scared me. Yeah, I thought my computer was freaking out on me, but it was just a uh, bugger. Alright, here we are. We get ready to start the heist. So we really finna do this shit? We finna risk our lives to rob some motherfucking government killers again? Yeah. Okay. I gotta turn the volume up on my end. All right. So, so. Listen up. Here's the plan. All right, Trevor. Yeah. I want you in this position up here. Okay, you're on lookout. Give me a heads up when the armored car comes by. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna be right here in the garbage truck blocking the roadway. Franklin, you're in the alley in a tow truck. Hope is they pull right up in front of you. When they do, you come at them hard. Bam. Shit, <laughs> here's hoping. Yeah, after the hit, we blast open the doors, grab up all the cash, bonds, whatever it is, I take it to Haynes guy. <laughs> Saw a little hole for home. As long as I am not on the ground when the shit goes down. Okay. When the shit goes down, we'll handle it. You stay up here, on your post, eyes peeled. Yeah. Okay. We'll take the risk. Sound cool? Shit, true to professional, dog. And at least we're not wearing clown outfits. There's a plus. Right. The masks. What? <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Huh? Real professional. <sighs> Let's do this. Let's go, go. Did you did anyone notice that? And Trevor's beard was protruding through the bottom of the mask. Yeah, 
And that had to be one of the most random cutscenes ever I've noticed. Yeah, even 10 years, uh, actually 11 years later, now that I think about it. Yeah. Still one of the most random cutscenes in any game. Oh, gets me every time. Alright, T, I'm in position. What's the ETA? Looking for him. I got a visual on the target. Should be with you any moment. Alright, Mike, move it! Yes, that Hold works. Up. Get ready, Frank. All right. Okay, this has to do it. Did Public Works change their schedule? Uh oh. Ram and speed, bitch. <laughs> Ram and speed. Oh yeah, this is gonna hurt. Oh man. <laughs> Yeah, this is a reference to the film Heat. Back away from the bomb, Hap. Blow the door. Yep. Everyone out, let's go! On the ground, now! Move it! My fucking ears! I'm fucking deaf, you complete prick! Clean out the van, I got the guards. The alarm's been tripped. The cops will be swarming here in ten seconds. You better run! Shut the fuck up. Come on, good to go! You hear all them sirens, dog? Looks like they hit their panic button after yeah. LSPD. Yeah, yep. you're covered by those barriers there. I'll be up here. Fuck. Hold yeah, this. We'll never get out of hold here. on. We got a whole position. Hey, this gonna be a nasty motherfucker, man. To the film hey, new team coming up the alley. Back left. Take care of him. All right, my, uh, Frank. Hey, the new team gonna be on top of us, dog. Back left of the alley. Deal with it. Hold your nerve. We put these guys down. We can clear the area. Hey, fast. Oh. Hold on. Yeah, this is not gonna work right here. Hey, guys. I got it. Oh, jeez, it blurs. Headshot. All we gotta do is ride this out. Keep them down. Leave him to me, all right? 
Jesus, we're doing nice and good. Are you gonna bail or what? Grenade out. Right in his face. This yeah. one's out of it. LSPD sniper team on the roof opposite you, just to the right. You gotta take him out, T. Oh no, you don't. Shooter two is down. Rooftop is clear of shooters. They're coming from the left. Let's switch over to my AK. Sniper in the chopper, T. He's got to go. Let's do it. Oh, this time it. Gotcha. Yeah, you ain't going anywhere. You look after yourself, dog, alright? Alright, let's go. Hey guys, drive about two and a half kilometers. Sounds like that truck engine is really struggling. And normally, in a situation like that, the entire department would have converged on them. From all directions. Air, ground, as well. So, that was a pretty light response. I mean, I guess in the game's context, it makes sense. Oh, whoa, almost flipped the truck there. Yeah, going through uh, Franklin's neighborhood, I think. stop here unless the police converge on us at the last second. And I'm surprised the, the engine hasn't blown out at this point. destroy the vehicle. There we go. Yeah, let's take this uh, Mustang. Ooh, jeez. Alright. Everything cool? Yeah, man. Shit, that trash truck is trash, dog. You good? Nice work. Oh, I'm about to meet this guy. I'll tell you how it goes. Ugh. 
Oh jeez, we're out in the boonies. Drive to Devin's house. Got a package for Devin Weston. Package for Mr. Weston? Come on. Yeah, and I'm telling you that I don't give a flying fuck. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Boom! So long, motherfucker! Devin Weston. I remember you. The weekend interrogator. Invest wisely. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. We're not done here yet. I got a job for you, bro. Five top quality scores. Big ticket cars. Major payday, bro. Sounds great. I got just the guy for you. I'll put you in touch. No, 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 I don't want just some dude. I want you. I want your crew. I want pros on this. Yeah, I don't give a fuck what you want, pencil neck. I'll let them know you're interested. I guess I just got you figured wrong, man. Hey, what's the figure? Tell me something. You like football? I got a stake in a sports investment venture. You like the market? I got some funds you can manage. Name your poison, man. I just like sitting around watching old movies. Oh, there we go. How about I hook you up with Solomon Richards? Bullshit. Solomon Richards, the movie producer? Yeah, he's retiring, man, and I'm doing a finance deal for his studio. I will make the connect just as soon as you... All right. Oh, man. Solomon Richards. Have a good one, boys. All right, let's see. Oh, we got silver. Somehow I got the silver. All right. Whoops. Hey, what up, Michael? Hey, man. Listen, I got an interesting opportunity for you. An acquaintance of Dave's. An FIB contact? Are you joking? Relax. The guy's private sector. Very wealthy. Could be lucrative. Why don't you meet him and see what you think? <sighs> all, right, uh, all right, yeah, yeah. I'll think about it. All right. Me and Trevor will be there, too. I promise you. It's a step up for you. A real opportunity. Yeah, I, I'm telling you right now, I do not like Devin Weston. He comes across as one of those guys who cares more about money than anyone else. If he wants something, he'll do whatever it takes to get it. And he's not afraid to go down the criminal enterprise route. Uh, oops. Don't delete, this is not spam. You know that guy whose bike you got back yesterday? Well, that's me. And guess what? I'm seriously rich. Have you heard of Animal Art, the all natural pet store? Huh? Yeah, I don't know what he's talking about here. Yeah, I started that company three years ago when I was just 17 years old. Now I got like eight homes. Turns out organic pet food is totally recession proof. But it's. Excuse me. But it was never about the money for me. Even when I floated the business on the stock exchange, I'm totally unchanged by it. I'm a new generation millionaire. I don't believe in cynicism or working hard. Money is meaningless. If <clears throat> Damn, what's going on with my throat? Well, if you're spiritually bereft, bereft, I don't know how you say that. You know what I mean. Yeah, when you stepped in and helped me, you don't see a highly successful entrepreneur. Yeah, you just saw a young, cool guy who got his bike stolen. And, uh, that's awesome, dude. So check this out. I'm sending... <laughs> Shit, sorry. I'm sending you 100k of stock in Animal Arc. Yeah, that way I'm invested in you. Yeah, you're invested in me. Sound cool? Oh, Gary. 
Yeah, that's the guy who we got his bike back. This car is so underpowered. Yeah, the assault shotgun. Yeah, I think that's an auto shotty. Hey, where the hell are you going with my bike? Oh, I machine gunned him off the bike. Oh, shit! Take it! I can't afford another hospital bill. Well, you're you're getting another hospital bill because you just got shot and you fell off the bike. No way, you fucking got it. Here you go, bro. Oh, thank fuck, you've got it. Thanks, man. Seriously, you saved my ass. <laughs> oh, this is fucking awesome. Ah, forget it. I gotta pretend like I'm a good guy sometimes. Eh, I wouldn't say you're a good guy because I know you've done some terrible things in the past. Besides, I doubt anyone's gonna forgive you in the future. Wow, I got his stamina up. Tracy, baby, you called? Yeah, look, Dad, we're worried. I'm worried too. I really want to see you. Well, I don't want to see you. You need help. Like, serious, serious help. And if you don't get it, you're gonna be killed. Tracy, I love you, but you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I tried, Daddy. That's all I could do. Yo, dude. Look, I know there's a lot of guys like this in real life. Sometimes they get full of themselves and they think they're right. But in actuality, they need to either get with the times or the times are going to run right over them. This really causes a ton of problems. I can taste the difference between thousand dollar and ten thousand dollars. And uh, for sure. thirty million dollars. Yeah, I I cannot afford that. Hmm. Now, a lot of references out here. Hey, come on, please. Oh, sorry, buddy. Beat your car. Yeah, I... yeah, and there's also a, a general term for those guys who just say, Oh, these kids, they don't know what's going on. Uh, hey, me I forget what the term is. But you guys probably might know what I'm talking about, but I just don't know the term for it. Okay, now that I think about it. I'm gonna do the Solomon thing in the next video. Let's go and do this thing for Devin. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, as much as I don't like Devin, I wanna get one of his missions out of the way. Glasses. Yeah, I was fixing my glasses. Rewind the controls a little bit. Like I said, it's been a while since I've played. <sighs> oh, wait, I know this mission. Is this the mission I'm picking up? Mm, what's going on? You're gonna dress up as traffic cops, and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Uh, why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits! Yep. So what's going on? Oh, oh, you finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop! Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey! You two get going. Ooh, let's go, T. 
Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose. Now, are you going to do this, or have you simply found your level in life? Ugh. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will, homie. Oh, jeez. And probably just going to ignore the racial undertones at this point. Yeah, I wanted to jump right through my screen and strangle him right there. I mean, seriously, using subtle racism like that, and then calling yourself a Darwinist, and yeah, you have some nerve. Yeah, and he pretended that he was black right there. And. A white person pretending to be black, that is extremely stupid. I mean, if one of my friends did that, I would have said, you know what, if you're going to go down that road, then I'm not going to be a friend anymore, or acquaintance in this case. Yeah, oh, damn it. I was supposed to get off of that ramp. Yeah, I do not want to wreck this car. But yeah, people like that, who pretend they're a different race, those are the kind of people that you do not want to associate yourself with. And if you try doing that in a, another neighborhood, especially if, if it's the race that you're trying to impersonate, then that's an easy way to get yourself hurt. So yeah. Oh, hold on. Hey, Frank. Hey, I'm nearly with these dudes, man. You guys comfortable on your end? Yeah, I guess. We look pretty ridiculous. <laughs> All right, man. Look, I'll see you soon. Yeah. We'll pick you up coming through Grapeseed. Get the drivers there and get them going at speed. And I already scratched up the car. Chinese oil. Wow. I'm telling you, 2.7 millimeters. Who the fuck does two hey, point seven? How about we see which one of you two is for real? So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mouth. Ooh, <laughs> the fool wants to race us. Oh, man, just sick here burn. Anyway. Yeah, sick burn, Franklin. All right, I guess the race is on. Yeah, here we go. The reference to Need for Speed, or Fast and Furious, whatever it was called. I'm sorry if, if you don't get the references. Oof, jeez, I don't know how I didn't get hit right there. Oh, are they going to split the vehicles? Yeah, I don't need to use the ability for that, but... Yeah, it was, it was a way to teach you special ability if you haven't learned it yet. I find it pretty pointless. Oh yeah, I'm redlining the vehicle. And in real life, if you redline the vehicle like this, the engine's going to explode. At least from what I know. And Franklin's driving ability has went up. Franklin already had pretty good driving ability. And how's the cops not caught up to this, or how are the civilians not even filing a report? Yeah, if I was one of those drivers on the side of the street, I'd. I would have panicked. Wait, what happened? Oh, he crashed. Crashed out. All right. Why are you slowing down? Hey, we coming up now, man. Beat it in a few seconds. Got it. 
Whatever. Uh, Here they come. Well, and they're eating donuts too. Later. We gotta hang in there. Well, at least with a bike, Good I can go in this field. One thing Rockstar could have done was move the camera sway right here Stay when you're on the bike. So that gives you real serious motion sickness. Smart to save from some outlaws. Stop in the next bridge. Oh wait, no. We got him. So we. Oh, there we go. I thought they were gonna stop on the next bridge. Whoa, hey, stay in the car there, homeboy. I'll deal with you later. Yeah, fuck you too. You know how fast you were going? Gee, I don't know, officer. I uh, try to keep it under the limit. Well. You and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we are sitting there, so, uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. Officer. Is this Officer. entirely necessary? Yes, it is. Get on. Come on. Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing, fucking car? All right, we gotta make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint-sized prick! You, you wow. little shit! Get the fuck And if that happened here. in recent years, Gone. like, if police officers pulled someone out of the car like that, then uh, they would have easily lost their job. Because that's classic police brutality. Hello? Hey, you that lady? The intense dude's assistant, right? Assistant? This is Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel for Devin Weston Holdings. I need to tell Devin we got them cards. Mr. Weston will not discuss matters like this with you on the phone. I'll be your port of call for business concerns. Well, shit, me and your boss ain't gonna have any personal concerns. Bring the cars to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South Los Santos. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. Man, I'm sick of driving so slow staying with these fools. Can we have a real race? So Devin's lawyer says we gotta take them to Hayes Autos in South LA. Well, I'm gonna geez, be there well ahead of you. Well, I ain't waiting around, yeah, man. Let's go, but uh, don't mess time. up the cars, you hear me? This is going to be one hell of a race. And I'm probably just going to shut up for the time being. Hey, this is until I finish this yeah. mission. What did I tell you, bro? These cars. <laughs> this is an opportunity. Yeah, if you say so. You know what? Right before I met you, I was boosting rides and racing. It feels like it come full circle to me. Come on. 
Nah, I'm serious. If you hadn't got me fired from my repo job, this is exactly the kind of shit I'd be doing. So thanks, dawg. After all the crap we've been through, man, you got me right back where I'd be at anyway. You want me to slow down? I'm kind of running away with it, huh? You ain't gonna have that lead for much longer. I'm just biding my time. Hey, look. Devin Weston, he ain't like anyone you worked for before. Man, he runs his mouth, wants me to boost cars, and most likely gonna be paying me a fraction of what they work. It don't sound that different, to be honest. Well, you must know who this guy is. Look him up. He's the real deal. I've seen his house. He can make things happen. So, he like... To you, what you were to me. I see your house. I think this dude can take me places. Yeah, maybe. Something like that. Man, that was... Weird. What's your angle, Mike? What do you mean? Like, how am I gonna beat your ass in this race? Don't worry, I'm taking care of that. I mean, is it just a smell of green? Or is there some other th thing with this guy and you? You know, feels funky. Hey, I'm just trying to do what's best for Frank. You know, help him make the best of the chances he's given. Hey, if it's about the girl, I saw her first. Don't get too creepy, all right? She's a professional woman who's doing a job. And leave it at that. No sexual harassment in the workplace, T. Not on my watch. I'm serious. Both of you. Gentlemen, I love you all. Oh, God, this is going to be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, give me five, five, and five. Oh, hey, just kiss, homie. Boom. Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the... Fucking money now! Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion of work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. Hey, like, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z-type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Find Mulligan and Howick, follow him to the lockup. Someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life is just one long mystery. Bye-bye, gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good. Man. That was a really uncomfortable cutscene. I fought the law. Uh, reference to the Flash. And if you don't know what I mean by that, uh, back in the late 70s, early 80s, I believe, the Clash recorded a song called I Fought the Law. And I think that's probably what the song what the mission was referencing. But either way, Devin is still pretty much a shitty individual. Excuse my language, but I am speaking my mind. Now, 
I don't normally swear in my videos. I'm not gonna be one of those persons who says I'm I'm not gonna swear in my video because I wanted to stay up. Like I don't care about that. And by that I mean Jeez, now I forgot what I was gonna say. Of course, mama. Always stay out of trouble. Oh, I gotta sneeze. Come on now, mama. I wouldn't lie to you. Right. Alright, sorry about that. But yeah, I don't normally swear in my videos. I'm not a person who's not gonna swear in their videos for the sake of being family friendly because I'm not a family friendly YouTuber. Uh, you better be paying for that. Oh, never mind. Not a better vehicle. Sorry, lady. Come oh, on, lady. Don't fight. Man, that's always pretty funny right there. We can force them out of the car and they eat shit. I mean, in GTA 4, whenever you pull someone out of the car, they just stay upright and just move like they've been punched. But either way... Oh, nice sticks are now available. Which we won't be needing, since there's nothing we need that requires them. Either way, I'm going to pull up here and end the episode, because I don't want to go over. But either way, I really, really want to thank you for watching this video. So I'll end the video here. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're really new to the channel. Oh, sorry about that. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. And leave a like on the video. And I will see you guys later. See you everybody.